the bright spots here has been Zoom video. The stock is up more than 70% since its April debut. It did take a dip last week after its quarterly report revealed slowing growth. Zoom is now trading near where it closed on its first day. Joining us now is Zoom founder and CEO Eric Yuan. Eric, good to see you today. Thank you so much. Do you think it's your performance post IPO, one of the bright spots that we've seen that leads investors? Do, I don't know. Do you think that they have unrealistically high expectations for your company? Yeah, first of all, thank you for having me. I think we focus on the long term shareholder value and in terms of the stock price up and down for the time being. I think uh, we do not focus on that. I, I truly believe we have a, a, a much better future. In the, uh, I think uh, if our uh, shareholders, you know, uh, hold the stock, I think they will be, get a very well paid off in the future. And for now, I think it's really hard, you know, to look at the stock price up and down every day. So it's really hard. Uh, Eric, since this is uh, our first time speaking to you on closing, but I, I wanted to go back to the start. So, so what is it that you think makes your product unique to the other comparable rivals out there? So our product just works, right? No matter where you are, no matter what kind of device you are using, it just works. And also quality, ease of use, architecture, you know, customer really enjoyed using Zoom. And I wonder, therefore, given that, Eric, whether you, you see a kind of comparison between yourselves and Slack in that you have this freemium model that you try and sign bigger customers to. You, you offer a service that there are definitely some big tech companies trying to do something similar, but you both think that, that what you do is unique despite uh, the Microsofts of this world offering something similar. So in terms of a business model, Slack and Zoom are you know, very similar. By the way, Slack is a great customer, also a great partner. I think the market is very, you know, huge, right? You know, video is the future of communication. Video is a new voice. That's our focus, right? Even if, you know, Microsoft, they, they have uh, lots of customers in a lot of enterprise space, we also got great attractions in a lot of enterprise, not, not to mention that so many SMB customers, so many high-tech uh, customers, they like the best of the service, like Zoom, like Slack. Your company points out that Zoom's uh, international growth is growing at 98%. What kind of investments do you have to make to expand your international footprint? Yeah, that's a great question. So if you look at our international revenue, only 20% today, a huge opportunity ahead of us. And for now, you know, our revenue is mainly, you know, actually from a, a North American market. And next year, we are going to double down our international growth as well as enterprise growth as well. That's why I think we have a bright future. Um, Eric, I wanted to ask you whether or not a recession is in fact a benefit for Zoom. If, if you see uh, economic growth fall and with it corporate travel fall, does that play into your hands? I think, uh, you know, if there's a recession, hopefully never have a recession. And for sure, right, Zoom, the tools like Zoom can help. And even, you know, today, you know, look at the trend. Almost every company, they have a distributed workforce. How to make sure the employees all over the world working together right, to get a job done. The tools like Zoom can truly help. What, what, what about the Hong Kong protests, Eric? I read one report that suggested uh, in Hong Kong, with clients in Hong Kong, you've seen a big pickup in, in volume of use uh, given the protests and therefore perhaps the, the fall in level of travel that some corporates have, have done to the region. So the high ed is one of our key markets. You know, our first paid customer is a Stanford University. You look at the top 200 nationwide universities, 93, 94% are already using Zoom. And a lot of universities, you know, in Hong Kong, they are using Zoom for online teaching, online education. That's the reason why you see a little bit, you know, the usage, you know, uh, uh, recently. Yeah. Okay, I want to ask you about the IPO. Uh, clearly, as I mentioned, you've outperformed a lot of your peers on the IPO market this year. What did you do differently than them? And, and what would your advice be to companies who are thinking about going public next year? I think, first of all, I did not go to the IP Ruler Show. I used Zoom to join the IP Ruler Show. I truly believe in the future, every company who you know, wanted to go to IPO, just use Zoom, right? And it save, uh, save me a lot of time. And when I go to the New York, you know, on the last day for the Ring the Bell, I'm very energetic. I think the tools like Zoom can really help. 
And by the way, I think the market is great. Whenever your company is ready, just think about doing IPO. And I think this is a great experience. Eric, thanks so much for joining us. Great to speak with you as always.